Hi again, this is Chris Maynard from CMIVFX. I wanted to go ahead and have a quick discussion with you guys about the new Flame Basics video, what it is and who is it for. Um, over the last years, there has been, you know, a significant change in the way how visual effects has been used in a production pipeline. A lot of people have been using um, procedural applications such as New Confusion to complete their high-end tasks. As the um, 2012 year version comes around, Autodesk has made some significant improvements in that workflow, allowing the high-end users to go ahead and also perform that very same action and also include all the legacy tools that have been so rich as the Flame desktop. Now, a lot of you uh, might have questions on how to get into being a Flame operator, and uh, this is definitely one way to go. You can uh, take a look at all the tools and see if it's uh, the right tools for you. Nuke users and Fusion users will appreciate the workflow that I've shown here. It takes a lot of the old-fashioned uh, node-based compositing and brings it up to date, shows you how to incorporate it in such a powerful application such as Flame. And um, if you have any questions, I encourage you to email us over here at uh, info at cmivfx.com and we'll be definitely able to take your questions at any time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I want to let you guys know that we also have a bunch of follow-up videos for the Flame line. So this is just the beginning of our refurbishing of our Flame line. Uh, the second video is 3D tracking and there are several other videos for color grading, 3D compositing, et cetera, et cetera, that are coming soon. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this little discussion, and if you have any questions, email me, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.